What is up guys, Anthony here and welcome to my live reaction and review to Detective Conan chapter 1054, The Strong One Is. Alright guys, I'm ready. So, we figured out it's not a missile, it's meteorites. That's what I was kind of thinking. Because when I look, saw that in the, some of the comments underneath the chapter where I read it, it was like, eh, missile doesn't seem too right. But meteorite made a lot of sense. Uh, we also got the general plan. The brother is planning to take those three meteorite hunters. Uh, one's a, obviously a meteorologist, one's doing it for the money. Or anyway, we've got the whole gist. He's planning to take them up there to blow them all the kingdom come to kill them because he blames them for his older brother committing suicide because what happened is the older brother found the meteorite, sent it off to get examined to, you know, make sure, yeah, this is legit or not. And it basically got swapped and the abnormal rock got sent back. So he felt like he just got, nothing could have gone right and everything just got to him and he ended up killing himself, which seriously sucks. Um, but... Anyway, guys, Conan has an idea invo uh, involving tape and two markers that's going to show who the culprit is. Right off the top of my head, I don't know who it is. I'm more interested in the whole thing with Bourbon and Wakasa Rumi. I'm more interested in that dynamic uh, within these series, uh, within this uh, these last few chapters. But anyway, without any further ado, guys, let's get into chapter 1054. The strong one is. Okay. So we've got a nice little page here with a Conan sitting holding up his watch. Oh, he's doing this. And we've got the marker and two markers and tape in the back uh, in the background. What's the sorcery that illuminates the truth? The case resolution. Okay. First, cover the dial of the wristwatch uh, flashlight with some tape. Okay. Then, colour the tape with the blue marker. Alright, so he's... Hybrid is doing it, because as we know, Conan, Bourbon, and um, Hybra and all them... Uh, not Hybra, uh, Ayumi and all that are trapped underground. So there's only Hybra, uh, Wakasa uh, Sensei, and Genta that are out. Yeah. Okay, the blue marker. Apply some more tape and colour it again with the blue marker. Add a final layer of tape and colour it with the red marker this time. The pseudo backlight is now complete. From his place of confinement, what trick has Conan got up his sleeve? Okay, so he's created like a pseudo blacklight. I'm not sure what that what is actually, to be honest. White light is a combination of all seven colors of the rainbow. By using the marker pigments, we can absorb yellow light with blue and then green light with violet by combining the blue and red. And since the light the red light from the watch is scarce, you'll only be able to see in the ultraviolet giving you a black light. Alright, so basically, uh, this is going to show the, um, the highlighters, because the highlighters are all um, super, super bright. So whoever has the highlighters on them is the, vi is the murderer, uh, is the person behind us. Black lights are used to radiate ultraviolet rays, after all. I don't really get it, but didn't the white light just turn into a dark violet, then why don't you try and shine that violet light where the highlighter was stepped on? Okay. Whoa! So it's like, it's shining up. Okay. The ink from the highlighter and the footprints are glowing. Sure, the black light is dim, but if you shine it on something fluorescent, it'll light up. In other words, if the highlighter was dropped and someone stepped on it in, during an during the argument, the ink should be stuck under their boots. We can detect it with that light. Okay, so that's that's how they're going to catch him, which is, okay. But has it been days since this happened? We'd have to get pretty lucky for the culprit to be wearing the same boots today as back then. It's fine. Okay. Even just the possibility is enough for this. When we met our captor, uh, Hatoyama Umisuke, that's the younger brother. Uh, he was holding on to his phone the entire time, right? True. He didn't use it or even look at it. Just kept hold of it. So he was just holding his phone. Okay? Why? 
In that case, I know it's dangerous, but could you please go with Wakasa Sensei and bring those items with you? To the place where Ayumi-chan saw the trees wrapped with explosives. Before Umisuke-san blows the three, meter, three meteorite hunters whom he's leading there to pieces. Oh, and also, what? You're too quiet. I can't make out what you're saying. Okay. Don't let your guard down around Wakasa Sensei. Okay. So, obviously, uh, when the reason he's saying this is because I think it's two. Basically, when they're on the bus coming here, uh, Wakasa Sensei and the other teacher are talking about a person that has a name similar to the bird. Wakasa Sensei brought up the boss's name. I uh, think it's like Kurumi or something like that, which is meant to be Crow, right? And that guy, that person's name is linked to basically the big head honcho of the BO, right? the black organization. That's why it goes like, yeah, be on your card. And there's a lot of things that Wakasa Sensei has done that just doesn't make sense. Do you understand, Kojima-kun? Once you got the signal from Edogawa-kun's group down in the basement, do as you've been told. Okay. The four lights are nearing the explosives now. So it looks like they're heading up there now. Hey, are we there yet? It's been ages now. Why don't we continue tomorrow? We're almost there. Come on, Wakasa Sensei. Let's hurry. Yeah. Okay. So Wakasa Sensei is looking back because she knows there's something up. All right. She knows something. I, I like I like how they, they frame her like this because it shows her as she's trying to figure out what's going on, what Conan said, you know, all this kind of stuff. So what's actually happening? But at the same time, I think she's got a very good idea what's going on. Will the others be alright? Don't worry, Haibara is pretty sharp. And it doesn't look like Umisuke-san wants us dead. Okay? I also told her to run away the moment it becomes dangerous. That girl, Haibara Ai. Mm -hmm. It feels like I've met her somewhere before. You, you did. Remember that time you helped us when we were trapped inside a refrigerator truck? So, she was also there at that time. She seems like a shy one. Always obscuring her eyes. What's with that? I guess... <laughs> because, obviously, Haibara is a former scientist for the BO. Bourbon, you know, we know he's not... He's an infiltrator in the BO. But, you know, Haibara doesn't know that. So, she hides her eyes because that could give her away. But... Is that a true Konakun that Umisuke-san is bringing those three meteorite hunts to the place where the bombers were set to kill them? Yep. Okay. I think the video of the fully media that the stocky man was watching was a fake one that was uploaded by Umisuke-san after he added that voice track to a video he found online. Meteorites are often found clustered in the same areas, which means that if the fake video was taken near the farm where the first meteorite was found, the swindler who stole the real meteorite would definitely take the bait. Okay, so that's how he lured the swindler, the person, the con art, the con man, into doing this. If you scatter burnt branches and dig a long ditch near the trees covered with the bombs, it'll lure him there. Would that swindler really return to the place where they tricked their victim? If it were me, I'd be scared of being found out and stay far away. Scammers tend to think lowly of, of those they've previously deceived, presuming they can fool them over and over. Also, they could be wearing a simple disguise. Okay, which that will make simple sense. Okay, oh, alright, so it looks like they're pretty much there. Okay. There's a ton of burnt tree branches on the ground and there's a ditch here but it stops abruptly where'd it go he's got his phone he's on oh my it's the grown up we met this met this afternoon what are you doing all the way out here so we got hi but it's like hi look like being like a little it's like ah oh, you're the grown up we met yay what 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 about you i came to give you th i came to give you give this to you mr a, a badge i tell you She's given him the communication badge. You want to take revenge on the person who scammed your brother out of the meteorite, don't you? What? I'm one of the kids that you locked in the basement this afternoon. Then, shouldn't you still be inside the basement? It's alright. You can see from there, right? 
We've already escaped and called the police. Damn it! <laughs> I love it to get this turned on the lights and yeah! When they're still in the basement. I love it. So he's, he's bluffing. I like this. Get the gun. It worked. Looks like things are going smoothly. And so I'd like to talk with you about something. Don't you want to find out who deceived your brother before the police are? What? Once, you, once the police get here, you'll be captured and the, sca the scammer will get away scot-free, you know? You don't want to miss your chance, surely? Right. How will I know who he is? Okay. Do you remember the crushed highlighter and ink-stained footprints on the floor on the farm's office? Yeah. They were probably left by the one who scammed your brother out of the meteorite. Which means the highlighter ink residue on their souls. And if you shine the black light my friend brought on it, it'll glow. Okay, so how would have shown in the light? Also, water. So we've got uh, Wakasa making and pouring some water into a bucket. We also need water. Yeah, it'll make everything clear. Now get the three of them to kneel down somehow. Ah, uh, gentlemen. Hmm? There were some unusual stones in these bushes here. Oh, for real? Finally! Okay. Where is it? There's nothing here. Only some ordinary stones. So they're all tucked in. It's like, so, it was you. Ooh. So, I think... From... Looks like it's the old guy. Because if we go up a panel, he's the only one wearing... He's wearing the... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I would have to, I have to say it's him. Yeah, it's the old guy. The meteorologist. It's like... There you go. So, it looks like he's holding, he's holding the phone. And... Makasa says he goes, bang, and just jumped the throat and strained the water. So, ah, uh, let me go. So he's, he's, she's pushed the phone in the water. All right. Damn it. As I thought, your smartphone is the detonator. You're always holding it so that you can detonate the bombs anytime. But with this, you can no longer use the bombs. Huh? What? Where is it? It's the old guy. Well, I can still beat him to death. Now that I know that. He's the one who swindled my brother's meteorite out from under his feet. What? Alright, so he's pointing to the old guy. The highlighter ink stuck to your souls. From your argument with my brother is proof. My brother's message said that he was going to sell the meteorite to rebuild the farm. But you stepped all over his dream. I'm sorry. I'll return the meteorite. Alright, so it looks like he's willing to return. Are you kidding me? My brother's already killed himself. He's landing a punch on him. Dude, so he's not actually an old guy. He's got a, No, way. Just you wait. I'll send you to meet my brother on the other side. So he, the beard's actually falling off. Hey, hold it right there. Get your hands off me. I was... I was an inter-high boxing champion 20 years ago. So he was a boxer. So, so he's like, punch. Doom. All right, so something... It's like something said. Too bad. I was a... I was a pro kickboxer. I quit because the weight loss program was too demanding. Jeez, you even disguise yourself. It's scammers like you that give us meteorite hunters a bad name. Your foul mouth doesn't help either. Shut up. Well, now you're going to go to the police and confess everything to them. Uh, I'll be right beside. I'll be right beside you to make sure you don't get out of it. Uh, all right, all right. So it looks like the other uh, big guy basically. He kind of restrained them, all right? An hour later, the police arrived and freed us from the basement. So the guy that I originally thought it was, the guy who was in it for the money, actually was the one who actually helped us in the end. Okay? And freed us... They fre What? You knew the identity of the scammer even before we used the blacklight? Yeah, the man who dressed up like a scientist. Upon hearing from Misuki-san that the farm owner was hospitalized, he responded, your older brother was. How is he, right? Oh, so that's what gave it away, because he asked that he was his older brother. So how did he know that he was the younger brother? Okay. It means he had previously met the farmer, Misuki-san, who looks a lot like an older Misuki-san, despite saying that it was his first time here and that he didn't know anyone. I don't actually remember seeing that. I'm going to have to go back and check that out. Also, a scientist who researches meteorites wouldn't put a magnet near them, as that 
would risk altering the magnet magnetization. Walking around with one despite that proves he just he's just another meteorite hunter. Okay? So basically the fact that he had a the the um, metal the magnet proves he's just another hunter and not actually a scientist because a scientist wouldn't come with a magnet. Okay. That's something I didn't actually know. Alright. So we've got the things like phew, so they're getting out. Got the flick. Alright, so something's been Ooh, we'll cast a sense they flick the um the badge. Take huh? something fell. Right. Ooh, so that burned so uh, BAM! What? Dude, Rumi's going in! She's going in! She's going she's a dad! Swoosh! Dish. Someone's here. Who is it? It's my castle said that. It has to be. It's not, she's the only one. You can tell it's what it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dude, he's out cold. You finally out. I thought you were dead. It's not like you to miss a step and knock yourself out. I'm sorry. I lost my grip and let go of the trap door. Cutting off, cutting off all the light. It's fine. I missed a step on the stairs. So that, so was that just an illusion or? Let's go. Okay. All right. So Berman gets up, and Berman's still got the shogi piece. Oh wait. It's either the shogi piece or the truth remains shrouded in darkness. Wakasa Rumi, the rum candidate. He's not someone to be underestimated. And then we got... No, no! Wakasa Rumi, she's got the Shogi piece back! No, no! She's got the Shogi piece back! That literally confirms... It was... Obviously, we know it's it her. Dude! Alright. Anyway, guys, just hang on a second. I believe... The next issue, it's zero tea time? Okay. But anyway, guys, just hang on a second, and we are going to come straight back with the... Review or the breakdown. All right, guys, so chapter one thousand and fifty four for Detective Conan. We got the culprit. And it was not who I thought it was. The copper was actually the old guy. The old guy was a scammer that basically redisguised himself as an old, older meteorite. The ones, the, probably the two biggest clues that gave him away, besides the highlighter which I'm um, used, was the fact that when they first arrived, he, um, the young, and they met Umisuke, which is the younger brother. He said, "Oh, your older brother." How did he know if he had never actually been as he was coming? He had never been there before. So, obviously, he had been there before. And I believe there was one... Give me one quick second. I'm just going back. And uh, where is it? Um, basically, because he knew that the older brother had been hospitalized. That was the one thing. And the other thing was a magnet. He had a magnet. And a meteorologist... A Science, a scientist who's a researcher would never bring a magnet because apparently that uh, that would risk altering the magnetization of the meteorite, and then that could take the value of it and just make it plummet. All right, so that made him just a normal, everyday meteorite hunter. All right, and the reason he actually came back is because, like a lot of scammers. They fooled you once, they can come back and fool you again. They feel like they can come back and fool you again, 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 again. And it was actually the guy that I thought who was behind it, that was actually the one who subbed you in because the plan basically was to use the highlighter to figure out who it was, and then with the bucket of water that Wakasa Sensei set up to dump his phone because his phone was the detonator. So what ended up happening, uh, Hira ba uh, gave the pin to uh, Umisuke and say, look, this is what you need to do. Get them to bend down somewhere, you know. Like bend down, kneel down looking for something, right? So he used, oh, look, I found some interesting rocks in, in there. So they all ducked down, looked in, and then they used the black light, which was the tape with blue, a couple of blue straps, and then a red one over top, 
and it highlighted the old guy because obviously he was there. He had the argument, they had a fight, yada, yada, yada. And he ended up getting away, stuff like that. Obviously, Yumisuke then, super pissed, figured out what the hell, started going in and he goes, I was a former Inter High boxing champion 20 years ago and started laying into him. The bigger guy came in and said, hey, hey, stop. You know, it's not worth it. And end up knocking Umisuke out. He goes, yeah, well, I used to be a pro kickboxer. And the reason I quit, I quit was because the dieting plan was too was too much. It was too hard for him. So he ended up knocking him out. Gone up to this, the skin and said, all right, this is what's going to happen. You're going to go and you're going to confess to everything. And I'm going to make sure of it because I'll be right next to you the entire time. Basically forcing that guy's hand. And luckily, there was no murder. Fortunately, the older brother did commit suicide. That did suck. But the big part, the big, big part for this chapter, the part, the thing I want to know more than anything, what was going to happen between Amado and Wakasa Sensei? As we know, Amo or Bourbon, whatever you want to go with, he found a Bishop Shogi piece. It has already been hinted at that this was a very, very important thing to Wakasa Sensei. As everyone was getting out, Bourbon being the last one, Wakasa Sensei flicks the little badge down. Bourbon's like, huh? What? Something fell. And then, bang! The door comes down. We get a dash. And then, whoom! A kick. And then we get the silhouette of Wakasa Sensei. Staring down Bourbon, she goes in, manages to knock Bourbon out, which is very impressive. You need to say that. It is insanely impressive, guys, because you have to remember, Bourbon, he's not someone that can be taken down super easy. He is very good. So this is definitely setting up Wakasa Sensei to be insanely formidable, as we already knew that she was insanely formidable. But not only that, what? Someone see who is it? That this I'm just reading it. So how does that how is that? And then the next thing we know, Amuro is coming back. And the way she explains is like, I'm sorry, I lost my grip on the door and it slipped off and it knocked you and knocked you back down the stairs. And I was like, oh, so was that just an illusion or like or or did something actually happen? And then we get the confirmation that it was Wakasa Sensei. Because the very last week we got Wakasa Sensei standing there with her arms, you know, I'm gonna stand up for this part. Standing there like this. You know, her arms kinda like just here, right? And then we got Hydra obviously standing behind her, and we see in Wakasa Sensei's back pocket a shogi piece. Mm-hmm. Boom! Whoa! Crap! Holy crap! Wakasa Sensei literally... She... Obviously she did it on purpose. We know that. We, we saw that. She did this legit on purpose. She managed to get in. She dropped Amuro. She actually made to knock Amuro out. That is insanely impressive. And not only that. She got the Shogi piece all in pitch black. And got out and still made it look like it was uh, you know, all an accident. Right? Dude, this is huge. Right? This could be one of two things, okay? This could be Gaisho just really baiting us that Wakasa Rumi is wrong. Okay? It could it could be because we know. Gosha has done it many, many times before with the Chief Kuroda, just Chief Kuroda, Wakasa Rumi, and there's a couple others I don't remember the names off the top of my head. But the two main ones have been Wakasa Rumi and Chief Kuroda. Alright? It feels like right now, this is seriously po uh, pushing. Because we know the bishop, the bishop is like. I believe it's like the second or third most powerful piece on the Shogi board. It could potentially be the second first. But I'm not 100% sure when it comes to Shogi, but I know it's definitely one of the more powerful pieces on the board. Right? 
Uh, so I'm really curious, and we know that in the um, crime with Haneda Koji, that, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Haneda Koji. Yeah, I might be mixing up names, guys. I apologize if I am. The one thing that was missing was a particular a shogi piece. Okay, a, a shogi piece that he always wore. It was his good luck charm. That was the one thing missing. To have now Wakasa Rumi have said shogi piece, and to have, for it to be super, super important to her, there's a lot of things. And to see some of the things that she's done, it's like, mm, I don't know. Like, things that, it's like Gojo said, hey, there's this rum. Woo! Right? It's like saying, this is rum here. So, I'm really interested, guys. I'm very, I'm like, like, I don't want to go, like, all in, like, oh my god, this is rum, this is rum, this is rum. But it's like, I kind of want to, because, like, everything feels like that's where it's leading. There's so much things just kind of connecting. The Wakasa Rumi, right? The name. There's rum in the name, in Rumi, R-U-M-I, Wakasa, Wakasa was like a massive name for so, so long, that was linked to rum, now, the Shogi piece, we know one thing, I kind of, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this has been changed, definitely uh, correct me in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure rum was a female bodyguard, alright, so a lot of things are setting up as what cast of sensei being rum? But then again, this could all just be circumstance, and this could just be like, ha ha ha, nope, the real rum's over here. So it's like, oh, I don't really know what's going on. So I'm like, I'm like, Argh! I'm kind of torn at the moment. I'm super excited at the, at the exact same time. But anyway, guys, overall, this was a damn good chapter. Like, we got the reveal. That was awesome, that was cool, it was nicely done. But the big thing was that at the end between Wakasa Rumi and... Look, it flat out is Wakasa Rumi. We got the confirmation in the very final panel. She's got a shogi piece back, right? The, the, Wakasa Rumi taking on Bourbon, actually knocking Bourbon out. Or Amuro out, right? That's... That, you know, that we pretty much got confirmation. Like, we know that. So, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens next. Because I think Conan, and there's a lot of things that have been dropped in these few chapters by Wakasa Rumi, by Rumi Sensei, that is like, okay, why drop this particular bit of information right here now? Doesn't make sense. Like, if you're the number two, wouldn't you want to be like, I'm not the number two at all. I don't want to be dropping nothing. Yeah, I'm really curious. Unless she's purposely doing this to try and lure Conan out to prove that Conan is Shinichi because we know that Rum wants information on Shinichi. You know, we know this because we saw in, I think it was like 20 chapters ago, like a while ago, uh, Amuro Bourbon got a message from Ron saying, I want information on this person, Sinichi, uh, Sinichi Kudo, now. All right? Mm, boom! And then not that, not much long after that, Wakasa Rumi turns up. You see where I'm going with this, guys? You see where I'm going? All right, guys. But anyway, overall, the art was solid. The highlight of this chapter was definitely the ending with Bourbon and Wakasa Sensei. That was definitely the highlight of this chapter. We got the case solved. Everything's good. Happy lappy. I'm giving this four and a half stars out of five. Absolute brilliant chapter, guys. Absolutely loved it. Woo! This has been some crazy shit, guys. And I cannot wait for the next chapter, guys. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Anthony. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.